serious problem due to the explosion of pests in our farms. Half of our crops as well have been devastated by these pests even after using expensive chemical pesticides. What are we going to do? Are Sunita and Geeta Didi, what are you discussing? It must be something really important because you both look really worried. No matter what we do, we cannot get rid of the pests. Almost all our crops have been destroyed by the pests. We have been having similar issues as well. We used several variants of chemical pesticides, but it did not help and our crops were also rejected due to the detection of high levels of pesticide residues. So what important meeting are you having in the middle of the road? Pranita auntie, don't worry. Your son will pass the exam. Rumpa, if only that was worrying me, all would have been fine. Sadly, it is about the pests that are plaguing our crops. So dad, let's tell them about the meeting tomorrow. Okay everybody, please come to the village meeting tomorrow morning where all your doubts will be answered by experts. Will this really be helpful? Let's hear what they are saying at least. Let's move up so that we can all hear what they are saying. The current practices that are harming the soil and affecting farmers are The use of synthetic pesticides has harmful impacts on human health and the environment. Most pesticides are non-specific and kill organisms that are harmless or useful to the ecosystem. Repeated use of non-biodegradable pesticides has polluted various components of our agricultural ecosystem as well as invaded the food chain. The situation seems dire, but there is still hope. Have you all heard of IPM? What is that? Yes, I have heard this word but did not know how to implement it. Integrated Pest Management or IPM is an eco-friendly pest management system utilizing suitable techniques and methods of pest suppression cultural, mechanical, biological, physical and chemical towards sustainable crop production. Oh, is that so? Yes, IPM follows eco-friendly pest and disease management practices advertising the use of label claim chemical pesticides only if the pest population crosses the economic threshold level. For example, selecting varieties best for local growing conditions and maintaining healthy crops is the first line of defense. Like, if the mother is healthy, automatically the child born will be healthy. Similarly, adopting the right crop management practices will make soil healthier. Also, Deep summer plowing is important to soil preparation activity which can reduce many soil borne diseases. Will summer plowing reduce the pest attack? Great! What other farm activities can help in reducing pest attacks? Yes, absolutely! Simple cultural practices like optimum crop spacing, cleaning of field debris, application of soil test based nutrient dosage and optimum irrigation are essential to avoid pest attack. The cultivation of trap crops and installation of mechanical traps for early identification of pests is also a very effective strategy for monitoring pests. What is trap crop? Trap crops can be from the same or different family of the crop to which pests get attracted instead of the main crop. This is helpful for early identification of pests and trap crops can be removed and destroyed. Also, biopesticides are effective to use at this stage. What about mechanical traps? Solar light traps, yellow sticky traps, blue sticky traps and pheromone traps are mechanical traps that are useful for the identification and monitoring of pests. If pest population is below the economic threshold limit or ETL, biopesticides can be used. Label claimed chemical pesticides should be used only after the ETL is crossed. So my fellow farmers, now you know what we need to start doing. Thanks to our little Rumpa's advice. 
thanks to the Develop Private Public Partnership Program initiated by ABT McCormick and GIZ. Now we can really control pests. Eco-friendly pest management is equal to sustainable crop production, thus happy and healthy farmers.